guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some creepy things that can happen if you write a letter to Santa. Now, 99% of the time when you do, and I'm sure everyone has at some point, it's been totally fine. It's been magical, it's been a great experience. Sometimes you get a reply, sometimes you just get the presents that you want. But 1% of the time, something, something quite eerie can happen, and that's what we are talking about in this video today. Before I get started though, in case you have not seen my previous video, I talked about how I'm doing a 50% off sale on my Etsy shop. It's where I make handmade jewelry, I make handmade posters, and I have never ever done a 50% off sale. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, I will link it down below. It's from now until January 1st. The reason why I'm doing it is because in 2024, I want to do an entirely new jewelry line, and so I'm hoping that you guys will take the ones from this year home and enjoy them. I'm currently wearing the pink sparkling gummy bear necklace. It's made out of resin. It's just so fun. They're not all just like silly like these ones. There's fancier ones on there as well. But yeah, if you want to check out the sale, I will link it down below. Also, because you guys sold out our Christmas mystery boxes so quickly, we put together 30 more. And so those are currently on the website. So if you didn't get to get one or you would like one before Christmas, I will link that down below. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's get into the history of writing letters to Santa. There really is little information as to how the tradition of writing Santa a letter started, but what was found was one single reference to a letter written from a little girl in the 1200s to the real Saint Nicholas. And this is actually what this little girl wrote. It's so cute. It says, Saint Nicholas, patron of good children, I kneel for you to intercede. Hear my voice through the clouds, and this night give me some toys. I want most of all a playhouse with some flowers and little birds. I think that is just the cutest thing ever and the first ever documented letter to Santa. The 1200s, are you kidding me? It seems that the tradition of writing to Santa to ask for gifts really didn't take hold until the late 1800s and as the tradition goes, little boys and girls continue to sit down with paper and pencil or crayon and write to Santa telling him how well they have behaved throughout the year, detailing the good things they have done and why they deserve to be bestowed with the gifts that they desire. So once again, all really good things. We've all done it and uh, now we're going to talk about the spookier things. Here's some very creepy legends about Santa letters that like I said happens in like less than 1% of the time. In some unsettling tales it's suggested that when you write a letter to Santa the recipient might not always be the jolly old man himself. There are whispers of mysterious entities intercepting these letters responding in ways that might not align with the joyful spirit of Christmas. According to Eerie legends, some children have reported receiving replies to their Santa letters that contain cryptic messages or unsettling predictions. Legends tell of a ghostly figure known as the Postal Phantom, who is said to roam the realm between the mortal world and the North Pole. This spectral messenger is rumored to deliver Santa's letters, but may also bring eerie energies into the homes of those who participate in this holiday tradition. And in eerie lore, the act of writing a letter to Santa is thought to invite supernatural surveillance into the child's life. The idea is that mystical forces may watch over the child, taking note of their actions and behavior throughout the year with potential consequences for those who fall on the naughty list, like maybe being <laughs> turned into a shadow and put into Santa's toy sack, which we learned in the previous video. <laughs> okay, so of course I found kind of like a, a creepy Santa letter game, if you will. It's called the Midnight manuscript. It says, at the stroke of midnight, while you're in complete darkness, aside from one candle, use a feather quill dipped in midnight black ink to craft your letter to Santa. It says, allow the shadows to guide your words and make a list of all the things that you would like in 2024. And after completing this letter, recite this poem for Santa to hear. At midnight stroke, the quill takes flight. In shadows deep, I scribe my plight. Symbols cryptic, ink of night, a letter sent, a spectral rite, whispers echo in moonlight haze, a pact with claws, mysterious ways, frost-kissed dreams, the veil now thinned, in 
and Winter's Embrace, a game begins. This part is actually really strange. It says, place the letter in a forgotten place in your house where you wouldn't usually put things and then retrieve it in the morning to see if you got a response from Santa or Santa, because it might be one of those like creepy entities that like interject your writing to Santa. And there's actually a warning that comes with this. It says, the days following writing your letter may bring vivid dreams of snow covered landscapes and spectral figures. These dreams are considered a sign that the veil between magical worlds has thinned. Now, I was really curious about what sort of creepy letters some people have received back and I was able to find one. So I'm gonna read it to you guys. It says, Dear Samantha, Greetings from the North Pole. I got your letter, the one written in that mysterious ink. Interesting choice. Your wishes are noted and things are in motion. The workshop has been a bit different since your message arrived. The elves seem to be working with a newfound energy and the toys are taking on a peculiar twist. Be prepared for surprises, maybe even a bit odd. Your request for something special is being processed. Just remember, sometimes the best gifts come in unexpected packages. Keep an eye out for the unusual. Winter nights can be quite peculiar, don't you think? I'll be keeping an eye on you and who knows, you might catch a glimpse of something you weren't expecting. Best. Santa Claus. This is so creepy to me and if I was Samantha, I would be afraid of what presents might appear under the tree. Imagine like finishing off opening gifts with your family and then they spot one last present at the very back of the tree and it's the one that Santa said would be very peculiar? A peculiar twist? Unusual? A surprise? Is that a good thing or bad thing? We don't know. Anyways, I feel like I will try this on the vlog channel as we do all the things that I really talk about and we've already posted one about the missing his claws like whispering to the tree seeing if she responds to our riddle that is currently up on the vlog channel right now if you're interested but we are gonna do all of the creepy Christmas legends throughout the month on the vlog channel I will link that channel down below but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget if you would like to check out the 50% off sale on Etsy I have linked it down below along with the remaining Christmas mystery boxes but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs>